one body. In late 2008, a fisherman brought a dog that was obviously incubating rabies from either Flores or Sulawesi. So to stop a rabies epidemic, we've learned that we must vaccinate above 70% of all of the dogs. Quite a daunting task, actually. There's about just over 300,000 dogs in Bali. In the Tabanan region, one dog bit nine people, which is an awful lot, because on the average, one dog tends to bite three people. It's a pretty horrible disease, but animal can appear drunk, they can just be wandering for no reason, they have difficulty drinking water for the first few stages, an animal will often become paralyzed, and then the, the stage that everybody recognizes is they become very fierce and they start biting anything, I'm um, including other animals and humans. <laughs> I mean, humans have similar, it's similar symptoms. Actually, they say that rabies is the most fatal disease known to man because once you contract the disease, there is no cure. Yeah, I think uh, positive rabies. First thing a Balinese will do if, if their dog is killed or taken away is they'll go buy a puppy. And often they buy puppies from breeders that have not vaccinated the dogs um, and from positive areas. So many people that have died have been from puppies and not necessarily from the big, ugly, Bali street dog, as people call them. <coughs> if people were more aware of the disease, they would understand that any animal bite is potentially fatal. Uh, according to the wife, he got bitten in the farming area when when he was working in the field in the farm. He decided to go to the wise man or so-called witch doctor here. So the way uh, the witch helped him is by using a shallot, you know, onion, the, the Balinese onion, a small one, and scrubbing on the wound. So whenever the, the onion get rotten, the wound will be recovered. So that's what they believe. But it means that they didn't do any uh, modern treatment at all. So if you are bitten by a rabid animal, you can live pretty much 100% if you follow World Health Organization recommendations. So you do proper washing of the wound, proper wound treatment. You go to a clinic or hospital and you get your post-exposure vaccinations immediately and you follow that regime, you live. They say that Every 10 minutes in the world, somebody dies of rabies, and more than 50% are children under the age of 15. And being here in Bali, we haven't seen that yet, but I have a feeling more children have died than have actually been reported at the main hospitals. Education is really the key. Siapa yang pernah digigit anjing pada akhir akhir ini? Banyak. Sebutkan satu saja. Sebutkan satu saja. Gejala rabies pada hewan. 
Angkat tangan saja, jangan menjawab sebelum saya tunjuk. Ayo berlebihan. Oke, okay. tepuk tangan untuk dia. Absolutely possible to eradicate rabies, as we've seen in many countries in the world that battled with the disease for decades. Once they started vaccinating animals in a really in a in a in a really methodical approach, not now and again, but they really went all out and ran pro vaccination programs. They were able to eradicate the disease. <laughs> Six more. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.